Hi everyone, I'm Ron Rookie, and today we'll be taking a look at uh, Frogo Hop Across the Seasons developed by uh, Smelly Frog. Now, believe it or not, the developer actually has a YouTube channel, so I'll leave a link below in the description so that if you like this game, the uh, later games that we're going to be covering by the developer, um, I'll just uh, leave a link to the YouTube channel of the developer so you can check out the games that he's making. So, uh, without further ado, let's get uh, started. Okay, nice. It's made in a uh, Pico, which is cool. Right off the bat, I can tell that it plays a lot like Kirby, which is nice. Some Kirby games. So, it's just a jump here. Go. Graphically, it looks pretty good for a PyCon game. I like the visuals. Uh, so you can't bump. Okay. I don't like that he can't spin it. He has to swap. He swallows it instead. Which is okay, I guess. Oh, okay, so we cleared the uh, level. Nice. Okay, so now we're in a sort of a cave. Nice. Oh. Okay. Ah. Cool. Okay, that was a bit of a bug there. character actually. Reminds me of another uh, frog character that I played as. I think it's called uh, Frogato and Friends. Oh uh, yeah, that was a game I remember playing back then. I wonder how the uh, game final releases turned out. I, I saw the footage of that game that looked like looked like it was uh, finished, so yeah. Okay. Looks like I... Ah, uh, okay. So I wonder if you're supposed to do it. Is it... Ah, okay. Okay, so that's how it works. Okay, yeah, cool. Nice! So, as I was saying, I do remember Frogato and Friends. And looking at the uh, Steam page, it looks like it's a very completed version. So, yeah, maybe I'll check out how it plays and I'll just get my uh, history. The earlier versions I played. Yeah. In the meantime, let's get back into Frogga. Okay, and jump there. Puzzle there. 
Hey, creative. Doesn't look like the coins do anything. Oh, <laughs> nice. Looks pretty fun for a short platformer. I think this is the final level. The thing I don't like is that you can't bounce on enemies. I don't know why you can't do that. Oh, well. a nice touch. I'll give it that. Okay. Okay. Okay, so now... Ah, oh, cool. We got another hat. It if it's spat out like it like how Kirby does it. I don't know why you just swallow it. Pretty weird. Ah. Okay, this part is a bit hard. Yeah. Yeah, this is where it starts to get hard. Stop. a winter level. I wonder 
if you get to wear a snow cap of sorts. That would be cool. So now it's an ice uh, cone. Okay. There is some variety. Just, yeah. I mean, there was variety with the autumn leaves and stuff, but. Some parts can be a bit tough, especially considering there's no other way to heal. There's no way to heal. Time to run away from that uh, ice pick. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so I guess the coins are there, like, in case, you know, you have to probably do it in one sitting in order for it to come. But, uh, yeah, it's a nice short... Uh, platformer that's on Pico. If you like what you've seen, I'll leave a link to the developer's YouTube channel. You can check more of his games. And uh, as well as I'll leave a link to this game so you can even play it on your browser. So yeah, overall, it's a nice short platformer. It could have improved in the uh, 
the final level that ice pick i feel you know you could give it some more time so that you could have the time to run away from it instead of just moving to the other opposite direction just for it to fall down while you move away but yeah other than that it's a pretty nice uh, platformer i think i like it it's a short one but yeah this actually get got this actually is um making me look forward to the next uh, Frogo platformers that the developers leave, released. So we'll look at the next uh, Frogo game, um, if we're going to cover a topic on Frogo. Well, that is it with this one. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, and in the meantime, thank you for watching Gaming Rocky. Have a good one.